Yo, what's going on everybody? Servo here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have some really exciting news. As promised, and a thank you for 25,000 subscribers here on YouTube, I have officially opened up Suro Snaps today. Now, if you don't know what Suro Snaps is, it's actually an unofficial like competition challenge that I'm going to be hosting over on my Discord channel. So if you haven't joined, be sure to join my Discord. The link to that will be in the comment section of this video. And head over there. You can check out the rules, the competition details, and all that good stuff. But in short, it's a competition just like Dream Snaps, but I'm hosting it. It's not part or like affiliated with Gameloft or like Dreamlight Valley or YouTube or anything like that. It's just a competition I'm running for my community and the rules there's a lot of rules so you have to head over there and take a look at them but you do need to be subscribed to the channel so if you haven't subscribed to the channel be sure that you do that now and if you think you are a double check just to make sure that you are subscribed because this is for my community and well you have to be subscribed to be part of the community so with all of that out of the way I'm gonna do this every single month and there's gonna be prizes every month so for the first month I'm gonna be giving away a two copies of the cozy edition for dreamlight valley and that's going to be the rewards that are going to be up there are two different winners that are going to be chosen one community selected so based on you guys everyone's going to be doing a voting period and you're going to vote for what you think's the best the person at the end of the week of the voting period that has the most is going to win the prize and then the second prize will be given out to me i am personally going to choose someone and i'll be doing this by doing a live stream at the end of the month where i look over each submission with you guys and i'm gonna vote which one i think is the best and they will receive the other prize so this is just something that i want to do one for the community two i want to give back because you guys have given me so so much and three i also just want to be able to add more content to the game because the game can be a little dry at points and there's not much to do so when, whenever you finish your star path i want to be able to give you guys an extra thing that you need to do and we're going to head over to discord and take a look at all the rules and everything like that and i'll break down the contest and explain it but that is just the introduction and um yeah let's head over to discord all right so you can find this over here as soon as you join discord you're going to see this Suro snaps challenge right here we have three different categories already we have rules contest and voting so let's go to contest this is the main thing so it says Suro snaps monthly contest capture the magic attention all dreamlight valley adventures and photography enthusiasts get ready to embark on a magical journey with our monthly Suro snaps contest Show off your creative photography skills and love for all things Dreamlight Valley. About the contest, Suro invites you to showcase your talent in Dreamlight Valley's Touch of Magic feature. That's right, you have to use Touch of Magic, and that's where this is going to be different from Dream Snaps. Each month, we challenge you to create a captivating in-game screenshot that embodies the essence of Suro. From enchanting landscapes to whimsical moments, let your imagination run wild as you capture the enchantment of Dreamlight Valley. Okay, so each each month is going to have a different theme. This month is the uh, Suro themed magic. So October theme is Suro themed magic. For the month of October, immerse yourself in the Suro theme. Capture the magic and essence of Suro in your snapshots. So two things to take away from this you do have to use touch of magic you could just make like a dress an outfit you could make a furniture set you could do like a rug you could do whatever you want but it has to be like Suro theme so it doesn't have to look exactly like me just an idea it could be something that's funny it could be some inside jokes that we have going during um live streams it could just be funny moments from live streams it could just be like the branding of my channel my content the colors the sky blue the clouds the pixel it could be my character with the blue hair and uh so yeah just come up with something really creative and like I said, next month will be something completely different, unrelated to me. This is just to kick it off. So how do you participate? Capture a magical moment in Dreamlight Valley using the in-game camera and touch of magic feature. Submit it. Upload your masterpiece to the designated voting channel in our Discord server between October 22nd and October 28th. So you're going to have three weeks to come up with your own custom design, your own snap. And then there's going to be a week of actual voting obviously the sooner you upload this the more chances you have to get people to actually see your photo 
and to vote on it. So I would try to get it done within the next three weeks. And then on October 22nd, I'll announce it here on Discord. Make sure you submit it as soon as you can. That way it's out there and you have a whole week of people voting on it. And then vote for your favorites. Join the community and vote for your favorite snapshots from October 22nd to October 28th in the voting channel, which is going to be over here on the left. So you do have to vote for other people, at least one other person, and it cannot be for yourself. So make sure that you're participating and not just submitting your dream snap. Okay, so the prizes for this month, two lucky winners each month. One winner will be chosen by community based on the most votes, and then one winner selected by Suro after reviewing submissions on YouTube on October 29th, exact time to be announced. So this month's prize is going to be the Cozy Edition of Dreamlight Valley if it's available. In the event that the Cozy Edition is not available, a prize of equal value of 50 USD will be determined as a replacement. So I'll do my best to be able to give that to you. Um, it, it really just depends, I guess, where the winner is located. You know, some regions, some countries might not be able to ship there. And uh, also the cozy editions are a limited quantity, so it might not be fully available at all. And so in that case, we'll just take the value of the cozy edition and then do it another way, whether you want like a Steam card or a Nintendo like eShop card or something like that. We'll get it all sorted and uh, make sure that the winners uh, find something that they're very happy with. So rules to remember, and we're going to go over all the rules in just a moment. You must be 18 years or older, or participants must have consent from a parent or guardian. That's a big thing. Make sure that if you're not 18, make sure your parents are okay with it, because you are going to have to send some information so I could ship out the prize to you. And uh, just make sure everything's all cool with that. So all entries must be original and use in-game features only. No external editing. That's right. Literally, you could just take your dream snap. And then upload it like you can't use any other you can't brighten your photo you can't edit it in any way it has to be taken from your game and then submitted over here on discord to be eligible ensure that you are subscribed to me of course so double check on that respect our community guidelines keep it family friendly and fun absolutely has to be family friendly um like nothing like crazy inappropriate you know if yeah i mean you you guys know if it's like it just so bluntly inappropriate don't do it and then winners have one week from the contest end date to respond and provide delivery information for full details. See rules channel. So of course I need to be able to contact you here on discord. So make sure you respond within the week after it. And then remember each theme will be different every month and participating is your chance to be part of this community. So this is again, just something fun that I want to do for everybody. So voting will be over here in this channel right now. It's just a text channel, but soon it'll be opened up like a forum like this where you will submit it. And to be able to vote, you will just look through here, see which ones you like, and then you will just go ahead and hit a like on it. You could vote for two of them. You could vote for a hundred or a thousand if we have a thousand people submitting. I really don't know how many we're going to have, at least for the first month. And you could just keep voting and voting. Just do not vote for your own, and you have to vote for one other person. And then at the end of the week, I'm going to look and see who has the most upvotes, the most uh, emojis here. And that's going to be the winner. And then you still have one more chance if you didn't win, because I'm going to be picking someone. So I will be doing a live stream where I look through every single one of these submissions on live stream. All of them, whether it takes me five hours or not, I'm going to look through them all. And I'm going to make my selection as well. All right. And last but not least, here are the rules. I do want each and every one of you to look through this and make sure you pay attention to it because I don't want you to do something and then be disqualified or whatever because you didn't see it. So I know there's a lot of text here. No one likes to read a bunch, but it's just very important. So rule one, submission deadline. Please note that the deadline will be updated every month and to see when the active month's um, submission date is, check the contest channel. So we know for this month that it is going to be running from October 22nd to October 28th. So you can't submit it after or before and the uh, voting area is not gonna open until October 22nd. Eligibility, the competition is open to all YouTube subscribers who are 18 or older or participants must have consent from a parent or guardian. Double check YouTube and make sure YouTube has unsubscribe you. It does sometimes, so just double check that. And uh, again, like we already talked about, make sure you have consent from a parent or guardian. Rule number three, original content. All submissions must be original creations. Don't copy anyone. 
don't like steal anyone's exact photos or anything like that. It's okay to take some inspiration from stuff, of course, but just don't be like, you know, you, no one's photo should look the same, especially on a Touch of Magic item. And I know Touch of Magic is not everyone's favorite and it's not going to be Touch of Magic theme every single month. But for the first month, we're definitely going to do it that way. So yeah, I want to see how creative everybody can be. So rule four, ownership and rights. Participants retain full ownership of their submitted entries. By entering the competition, participants uh, grant the organizer, me, the non-exclusive right to feature, display, or promote their work in the context of the competition. This includes, but it's not limited to, showcasing entries on YouTube, Discord, and associated social media channels for the purpose of promoting the competition and announcing winners. Participants' works will always be attributed to their respective creators. So essentially, um, this is just saying that you own the photo and everything, you know, it's your creation. But if you enter this competition, you're allowing me to showcase your photos and display it in YouTube videos or live streams or over on my social things to show off like just everyone's work, part of the competition, how well everyone did, um, do reviews of it, um, critique it, and also to show off the winners and celebrate the winners and all that stuff. So that's it's pretty much like we do anyways. So number five is theme adherence. Your entry must be Suro themed, showcasing elements related to Suro and must use the Touch of Magic feature in Dreamlight Valley. You could do as little Touch of Magic as you want. You could just do a rug if you wanted. You could do more. You could do a full room, like, but it has to be Touch of Magic. And even though there's ways to get around this rule, like, you know, maybe you just design a little part of a shirt that you can't see, you probably are not going to get very many votes. So keep in mind, the more Touch of Magic that you do, the higher quality. I think more and more people are going to respect that and you may garner an actual vote as to opposed of like trying to get around the rules. So I didn't put too much on that other and it's it's up to you, you know, uh, do as much touch of magic, but it has to have touch of magic. And I have to be able to see at least one piece of touch of magic in the photo to actually be able to uh, claim your prize. So number six, submission channel, upload your entries to the designated voting channel discord, which is right over here. We just saw. Now, the voting process will take place between October 22nd and October 28th. This is for this month, of course. Next month will be different and will be located in the voting channel. Participants and viewers are encouraged to vote during this period. Again, you, you need to be participating. Um, number eight, single entry rule. This one's very important. Participants are permitted to submit only one entry per month. Once you have submitted your entry, you may not delete it or upload a new one. Please ensure that your single submission is final and meets all the competition requirements before entering. So you are only allowed to submit one time. So once you submit it, that's it. You can't change it. You can't delete it. You can't edit it. You put it in there. You have three weeks from today, three weeks to get your, th your picture, get it like how you want it. Be very happy with it and then submit it. And then that's it. So you can't change it. Otherwise you'll be disqualified. So make sure you are very happy with your submission. And that's just to keep everything fair and balanced. Um, I don't want people like constantly uh, submit photos and then remove it and then change it or alter their photos. Cause they saw people had done this and they liked that idea better. Um, just make sure that once it's submitted, it's done. And I will be looking at all of this stuff as well and keeping an eye on it. So photo editing, all photos submitted must be captured using the in-game camera and features of Dreamlight Valley. Using external editing programs to enhance or modify images is not allowed. Entry should showcase your creativity with the game's native camera and tools. Same with Dream Snaps. You can only use what's in the game. Do not edit it. Don't even brighten your photo. I will be able to tell. Trust me, I will be able to tell if your photo's been edited. So just keep it how it is in game and then send it over. Fair play. Any attempt to cheat, manipulate votes, or copy another participant's work will result in disqualification from the competition. Uh, you guys know what that means. Obviously, just don't cheat, don't manipulate, don't be out there trying to get votes or beg for votes or anything like that. And that also goes into rule 11, no vote solicitation. Participants are prohibited from asking for votes publicly or privately to gain an unfair advantage or self-promoting to generate votes. So yeah, don't be going in anyone's DMs and trying to get them to vote for you or begging for it or anything like that. Number 12, vote for others. Everyone must vote for at least one photo from another participant. You are not allowed to vote on your own entry, but you can vote on multiple entries if you wish. I will be checking the winners and making sure that they not only didn't vote for their own photo, 
and that they actually were active in voting on at least one other submission. There is a no prize guarantee. By entering this competition, participants understand and acknowledge that participation does not guarantee winning or the ability to claim any prizes. Prizes are awarded based on the competition's rules and the discretion of the organizer. So just because you submit doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to win. Of course, that's with any competition, any contest. Um, we will always be very, very fair over here, though, of course. Now, prize variations and alternatives. Please note that prizes may vary by month. In the event that a specific prize is no longer available or not available in your country, an alternate method of prize distribution will be determined. This alternate method will aim to provide a prize with a value close to that was announced for the respective month's contest. The organizer will make reasonable efforts to ensure fairness and equivalence in prize value. So again, sometimes... The price just might not be available in your area and your country and um, that's where i will of course try to work with you and we'll get something that's equal value so the cozy edition's like 50 dollars. we'll figure out something um, to make sure that you get your price or at least something of the value of now number 15 the community's guidelines respect our community guidelines which include keeping content non-offensive family friendly and fun throughout the competition inappropriate or offensive submissions will be disqualified and number 16, decisions are final. All decisions made by the competition organizer, especially those concerning disqualifications or the selection of winners are deemed final and binding. There are no appeals or disputes entertained once a decision is made. This ensures fairness and maintains the integrity of the competition. Number 17, rules update. Any updates or changes to the competition rules will be communicated to participants through the hashtag contest channel on Discord. It is the participant's responsibility to stay informed of any rule updates. Please regularly check the channel for announcements and clarifications to ensure you are aware of the latest rules and guidelines. And then last but not least, sharing on other socials. Participants are encouraged to share their creations and submissions on other social media platforms using the hashtag SuroSnaps after the voting period. Sharing your work on social media can be a great way to engage with the community and showcase your creativity. So just make sure when you do share, you share after voting is done. And that way it's fair. So we're not having people or other content creators that may be entering. They're not, you know, getting all these extra votes because this is this person or this is that one. You can't share your stuff until after voting is done. I know that was a lot of information, but those rules are always going to be there. You can check it and read through them. Read through them again carefully for yourself. But uh, don't let it be too overwhelming. This is just a really fun competition. We just have to make sure everything's in place and fair. So, of course, there's a lot of rules with that. But it is just a very friendly uh, competition. I think it's going to be an absolute blast. It's going to be super fun. And I'm really excited. Let's be honest. It's going to be hilarious. And we're going to be wowed. And it's just going to be amazing to be able to go through all of these submissions. And it's also just going to be something fun to have around the channel and like some more community activities. So uh, you definitely don't have to participate if you want to. You have an outlet to do that. So make sure you're over there on Discord. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I'm really, really excited. I hope you guys have a really wonderful day. If you have any questions, always reach out to me over there on Discord. I would be very happy to answer any of them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.